I got a slipper clutch recently to install in my S600, and I did what I always do when I get a new mechanical thing. I took it apart to see how it works. A clutch, as you probably know, is just a friction surface that can slowly connect or disconnect two spinning systems like your engine and your transmission. Say you want to shift. If you just jam the transmission into the next gear, your engine will basically instantaneously change speed, which puts a lot of stress on your engine and transmission. With a clutch, you can gradually change your engine speed to match the transmission speed for the new gear. Even if this is very quick, like a few hundred milliseconds, it still imparts much less stress on all the components involved. A slipper clutch is like a regular clutch, except that it automatically slips in deceleration, allowing for different speeds between the input and the output while you're slowing down. Why would you want this? Well, let's say you're going into a corner at a racetrack. You're slowing down and you want to be in a lower gear when you exit the corner so you have maximum power. Without combustion, your engine is basically a crappy air pump, and when you let off the throttle, it just tries to compress and pump lots of air inefficiently, so instead of giving you power, it's actually taking power. This has the same effect as using your brakes, which is why it's called compression braking, but here's the problem. It's only on your driven tire, so if you have a rear-wheel drive car or motorcycle, it only breaks the rear tire. Also, more importantly, it changes a lot with engine RPM. So as you downshift, you suddenly get lots of compression braking. For maximum speed around a corner, you want to maximize braking on all of your tires. This is really hard to do when you keep getting a varying braking load from your rear tires. If you exceed the maximum braking capability of your tires, you have a bad day. This effect is way worse on a motorcycle. Motorcycles have higher centers of gravity, so when you brake hard going into a corner, you take most of the load off of the rear tire. So your rear tire traction limit gets way lower and you run the risk of hopping or sliding the rear tire even without using the brakes. Enter the slipper clutch. On a typical motorcycle clutch, you have friction plates, which have teeth that connect it to the engine output. You also have these steel plates that are connected to the transmission input. There are some springs that squish everything together and make it all connected. When you pull the clutch, it moves this top hat away, allowing the friction plates and the steel plates to spin independently. When you downshift into a corner with a slipper clutch, the engine wants to slow the tire down, and this creates a torque at the clutch. A slipper clutch has these little ramps with ball bearings on the inside, so that torque that wants to slow the tire down pushes into this ball and up the ramp, and that pushes the hat away. And remember, pushing the hat away allows the plates to spin independently. This is the same as pulling in your clutch lever. Now this doesn't entirely disengage the clutch. As soon as the hat moves and allows some independent movement of the clutch plates, then you get less compression braking, which means you get less torque at the clutch, which means there's less force trying to move that ball bearing up the ramp. The slipper clutch finds a happy and consistent amount of compression braking. This consistency allows you to enter a corner faster without worrying about a sudden spike in compression braking, causing you to lose control of your rear tire. It basically chops the top off of that compression braking spike. You can adjust this level higher by putting in stronger springs in your clutch that will make it harder for the torque in the clutch to move the ball bearing up the ramp. You can use lighter springs too to reduce compression braking, but you still need some minimum spring pressure to squeeze the clutch together under normal operation. This is a Yo-Yo Dyne slipper clutch, and uh, shout out to Yo-Yo Dyne for sending me a replacement part after I stripped a bolt and botched the extraction. There are different brands that give more flexibility in adjusting compression braking by swapping in different ramp angles and springs. Most sport bikes these days come with them installed, but in any case, if you're trying to squeeze out every last tenth of a second on a racetrack, or you just don't want to accidentally oversteer off a cliff, it's a nice addition to the powertrain. Mm -hmm. 